This YCN segment is brought to you by M.J. Harrington and Company, jewelers and designers since 1948. Last year, the boys from Sunapee lost to the Tigers right here at Wheeler Gym in Newport, New Hampshire. But this season, the close-by Lakers hope to take some revenge. The first four minutes favored the hosts, with senior Cody Turgeon scoring the game's opening bucket and converting a three-point and one play. But Sunapee senior Cade Robinson soon made his own and one in the paint to tie the game early. Newport seniors Kyle Fish and Ethan Hood got in on the scoring at the end of the first quarter, as the Tigers held a five-point lead with a score of 15 to 10, with Fish hitting a very deep three. The second quarter favored Sunapee slightly more, as Newport got into foul trouble early. Fish and Hood continued to score, but sophomores Zach Belisle and Brady Grizana started to get red hot for the visitors as the Lakers cut the five-point lead down to zero, with both teams tied up at 29 apiece going into the break. Newport Juniors Joey Ackerman and Cole McNamara quickly gave their team back a four-point lead out of halftime. Belisle, however, sunk a pair of corner threes, and Robinson put in 12 in the third quarter alone for Sunapee. Double-digit runs were traded as the momentum went back and forth. McNamara sunk a two-pointer just at the end of the quarter, as the hosts were down by just one at 47 to 48 with eight minutes left. Overly aggressive defense and maybe some bad calls again put Newport in foul trouble early, and the Lakers took advantage, with Robinson, Grizana, Belisle, and sophomore Jordan Chappelle all scoring from the charity strike. The Lakers went on a 13-4 run and built a 10-point lead that they held onto. By the final whistle, Sunapee had won with a final score of 68-59. Cade Robinson led all scores with 27 points and went 15 for 22 at the free throw line. While while Grazana put in 15 and Belial scored 14. Kyle Fish led Newport with 16 points while Turgeon followed him with 13 and Hood put in 11. After the game, we spoke with Robinson and Belial to get their takes on the win. Yeah, so the keys to the game were just settle down. I mean, a lot of times we get too caught up in the game and then we turn the ball over, so the keys just settle down and um, make the game easier. So, yeah, Zach Belial came up huge, hitting some free throws at the end, hitting threes. Uh, Sean Chisco played a good game, great passing. And I think we all just worked hard. Uh, Matthew Nandroni stepped into the starting spot and uh, worked his butt off, and that's what he needed. We switched up a couple of times, a couple of different zones, which definitely helped us and uh, definitely kept surprised the other team. But yeah, it's basically just being aggressive. That's what we talked about before the game, because in our previous games, we just we weren't being aggressive, and it was losing to, uh, leading to losses. So we just had to up the ante a little bit and just get more aggressive, and uh, it paid off in the end. Yeah, I mean, we lost, I think, three seniors. So it's, um, and last year, the team was really young. So these younger kids are stepping up now, and they proved their skills a lot over the summer. So um, yeah, we're just we're all coming into it now and um, working um, together much better. Yeah. Uh, just slowing the ball down and keeping the pressure off of us. Uh, towards the end, we started to pick up uh, some pressure, and they started putting pressure on us and making us hit free throws. But we had to slow down. We ran our XO pretty well, and then we ran our Lakers to slow down the game. Uh, yeah, we've been kind of slow all game, and then towards the end, we started picking up momentum, hitting threes, getting easy layups, and it was just. We started to get more fluid in our offense and just feeling everyone out. Uh, we were just playing a really aggressive 3-2 zone. We were getting in their face, not letting any threes get off, and if we did, we would just pick the ball up and try and get the ball down court as fast as possible. Cade played well. He knocked down free throws at the end. Uh, Jordan and Sean getting the rebounds, pushing the ball, and Brady finishing layups. They did pretty well on that. Last year's team, we were a mix of everyone who hadn't played together for years. This year we have a group of five sophomores who's been playing together for a few years now. We have older kids who we've played with for our entire lives and it's just we're all meshing now. Sunapee improved to seven and four while Newport fell to three and five. The Tigers next host Franklin while the Lakers have a tough task next heading to take on Dairyfield. <laughs>